I'm Stephen Camilleri. I'm 27 years old and I'm an electronics engineer. My job involves assembling and testing all of our prototypes for all of our clients. So that's motors and electronic controllers. Well, um, this technology all started with the solar cars. Back in 1992, our team at the university here developed a new kind of motor, an axial flux motor. It goes in the back wheel, didn't use any gearbox, and basically drove the back wheel directly. Uh, that motor won a General Motors Technical Innovation Award that year, which was a very serious thing. And uh, since then, the company in the United States licensed the technology. We think about 90% of the solar cars use our, uh, our motors. At the university, we started doing some further projects on the motor technology, like um, air handling type applications, you know, fans, things like that. Our electric bike project actually started when we were back at the Northern Territory University, and a lot of people got very excited about it, and uh, so we thought there might be something commercial in it. It's one of the reasons we started this company. It's on the leading edge, I think, very different to what's out there right now. It's got a motor in the front wheel. So this part goes into the front wheel. You can see that there's an axle, and uh, the front forks go on these sides. This part pushes the wheel around, so it's actually just one moving part, and it's an assistance, so you can uh, get help riding up hills, you can get help um, just going along at the flat, so uh, it's maintenance free, makes them a lot more reliable. When I was in primary school as well, I did a high school electronics course, and I uh, got a 20 out of 20 in that course, and um, it was a natural progression to go to uni and do engineering as well, and I've got a master's degree now in, um, in engineering. Patents are the worst part of my job. That's a very nasty combination of, um, of very complicated technically, very challenging technically and very boring and legal and wordy and um, we typically have to concentrate for hours and hours and hours at a time without a break or you lose your place and uh, so patents I definitely don't like. All of the rest of my job I like. I enjoy building electronics, I enjoy building the motors, I enjoy testing them. Some other exciting projects we've um, contributed to one of the NASA projects which is uh, called the NASA Helios. It's a replacement for satellites, basically a flying solar car, and it just sits up there at 100,000 feet and uh, flies around and pretends to be a satellite. Uh, so we're very excited about that. That's something we've contributed to and we're hoping to be involved in that more in the future. We'd like to see our motors um, doing a lot more good for people. Um, at the moment, our motor technology is a lot cheaper. It's, um, we think it's about one-fifth of the materials. But at the same time, they're more efficient. So we're actually saving on, uh, on power. So the more people use our motor, the better it's going to be for the environment. The best way to start is just to register your business. There are a lot of government assistance agencies out there right now. Um, we found Oz Industry in particular to be very, very good. They give us a huge amount of help. And um, there's always local departments as well. That's a good place to start. It's really important that someone who's interested in engineering does do um, an engineering degree or something like that. A lot of people that are very good technically very good with machinery, very good with um, electronics, things like that. They don't have the science in their head. I think if engineers understand a lot more about how their intellectual property works, a lot of our ideas won't get stolen and taken overseas then, and um, it would actually be a lot more value to Australia in general. It's very hard to do. It's a lot of hours, it's a lot of work. But at the end of the day, the rewards are worth it. Yeah, this is my dream job. I don't think there's much I'd change in this job. It's pretty much what I want to do. Motor technology is, is so much better than what's out there now. Um, it's very hard to ignore. I think, yes, the company's got a long way to go yet, but um, it's going to be a big success.